Kayam Kulam is a village perched on the coast in the very south of India. A fishing village where work is challenging and life is hard. Recently, however, the region has developed a passion for a game. Janaki is nine years old, and her little sister is only five. Janaki taught Tirta to play, an attempt at the time to improve her attitude. Tirta always wins. The little girl is reserved, but shows strong character as soon as you put her in front of a chessboard. Her impressive collection of trophies bears witness to this. Tirta's fame is even spreading beyond the borders of Kerala. Six months ago, she won the national championship. Good morning, Parana. Good morning. RBG was the first to spot her incredible talent. He now trains her every day. And then opening the period. At the age of five, chess is already more than just a game for Tirta. She's carrying her family's hopes on her shoulders, hopes that they might be able to rise above their modest circumstances. There is a real desire for India to climb its way to the top. The Federation has taken this mission in hand. Across the country, 
hundreds of tournaments are being organized and clubs are flourishing. Chennai, also in the south of India, is one of the leading cities. This is the last round. Last round for the day, okay. Chennai has the most prestigious chess club in the whole country. So yeah, we are here and uh, right now you are actually seeing around 60 people who are like seriously into chess, who love chess probably more than anything. Competing at the same time, socializing also. So this is like the one place for chess enthusiasts in Chennai. So I would say that uh, chess culture in Chennai is actually growing rapidly. The Chennai Chess Club has become the country's champion factory. It all started a few years ago, when a local boy became the best Indian player of all time. When he started, like, there was absolutely nothing in chess. Basically, India didn't have an international master. He didn't, uh, I mean, he had some help, but uh, he didn't have the help of the uh, help, like, how Russian people did. And, uh, he had to, like, face a lot of, uh, what do you say, hurdles when he, to become the undisputed champion. This is the legend of the Tiger of Madras, the nickname given to Vishy Anand. In 1988, he became the first Indian to be awarded the title of Grand Master and the first to dethrone the Russians by becoming world champion. It's so basically a uh, world championship. My best ever result would probably be that one, 2008. Nine world championship titles. The Tigers' victories have whetted the country's appetite for chess. For the government, the game has become a means of asserting India's emerging power. A lot of countries have a deep respect for chess, even if it's not very popular. When a chess player arises in a country, um, then suddenly the country becomes very proud of, you know, we have the world's best chess player. It's still seen as a... Um, a symbol of intelligence and chess and sport even, let, let's say, a lot of the communist bloc, the Soviet Union, but even China to some degree. Um, and it was more profound than we can do chess so we can do sport. It was our system gives you the time and freedom to pursue these things. Uh, so that was another thread running through them. That's what's happening in India today. It's very aggressive. Vishy Anand opened the way, but the movement took on a life of its own. No grandmasters before 1988, but there are 75 as of today. Shall we shake hands? Yes. So welcome everybody for the last day of the World Blitz Championships. Uh, Visha, we had so much drama yesterday. We had but uh, how do you feel about uh, the situation in the tournament so far? This tournament, for which Vishy Anand has come to Samarkand in Uzbekistan to commentate, is the final round of the World Blitz Championship, the quick-fire version of the game. An entire India armada is present. This young generation is turning the chess world upside down. Among the juniors, there are five Indian players in the worldwide top ten. Gukesh Domaraju is number three. Recently, the, the boom in Indian uh, chess is so great to watch, and, and already uh, you know, there are three players on the candidates from India this year, in 2024. So I don't think, other than Russia, anyone, any country has had three players on the candidate. I might be wrong, but yeah, it's already uh, a great achievement, I would say. In the future, I, we hope that. Uh, we can take it even further and India will become a superpower. Super power in, in the world rankings by country, India has overtaken Russia and China. Only the United States remains at the top. World champion Magnus Carlsen is up against an Indian player. He is holding on, but is under threat. This young man, Prag, short for Pragnananda Ramesh Babu, beat him in February 2022. He was only 16 years old. Prag is now number 13 in the world and on his way to becoming a national hero.
Tonight, the hero is accompanied by his mother and sister. The cameras are focused on this family like no other. There's Prague, but also his elder sister, Vaishali. She too is a chess grandmaster. I think this is the first time uh, brother sister do uh, qualify to candidates also become a grandmaster. Um, and yeah, it's obviously we're very happy and, uh, and it's true that uh, pa my parents don't I don't know about chess, uh, much about chess, before uh, we actually started to um, play tournaments seriously. And yeah, still they don't know the rules, but they know who are the players and what's going on. And... No, honestly, I didn't this evening, Prague will be awarded the trophy for Rising Sports Star of the Year. Vichy Anand, Prague's role model, received the same award a few years ago. So how does it feel, Vichy, that your protege is winning the same award that you won, I think, about 10 years ago? It's very nice. You really feel that the tradition is being carried on and uh, uh, that uh, Prague is doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, really feels like a baton being passed. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm, uh, I'm very happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> At 10 years, 10 months and 19 days old, Prague became the youngest international grandmaster in the game's history. The son of a stay-at-home mum and a small-scale office worker has risen to the very top. He now inspires players nationwide, young people from modest backgrounds like himself. In Kerala, Tirta is still struggling to talk to us about her dreams. But her father wants to believe that all his sacrifices will secure his daughter's future. In a few years, Tirta could be India's great champion. She will then have to carry the hopes of her family and also of an entire country that is occupying an increasingly important place on the world stage.